Welcome to RT10 News. I'm Tara Lockery Grant, and here's your weekly entertainment news update. So, the summer weather hasn't exactly been great, but that certainly hasn't dampened spirits at this year's Galway Arts Festival. Running since the 11th of July, the festival, which was founded back in 1978, features hundreds of acts, with everything covered from music, theatre, comedy, dance, literature, and much more. This year, some of the highlights have included performances from Gemma Hayes, Jack L., and The Walls, as well as comedians Colm O'Regan and David O'Doherty, while Machnus entertained the crowds with their distinctive street parade. Killian Murphy has made his return to the stage in the sold out production of Enda Walsh's Mr. Man in the city's Black Box Theatre, while Blondie plays the big top this week. So there's something there for everyone, and the festival ends this Sunday. Let's hope the sun shines for them. The multi-Oscar winning actress Meryl Streep has proved once again that she can morph herself into any role. This time the American has taken on the iconic character of the former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher in The Iron Lady and the transformation is worth waiting for. One simply has to maximise your appeal, bring out all your qualities uh, and make you look and sound like the leader that you could be. You've got it in you to go the whole distance. Absolutely. That hat has got to go. And the pearls. But the main thing is your voice. It's too high and it has no authority. I may be persuaded to surrender the hat. The pearls, however, are absolutely non-negotiable. That's the tone that we want to strike. The film, which co-stars Jim Broadbent as Dennis Thatcher, is set to be released in Irish theatres at the end of the year. This week sees the launch of a brand new reality TV show on RT1. Forget singing, dancing, cooking or even ice skating. This time round, six well-known Irish personalities are really mucking in. Stars Go Racing sees Linda Martin, Francis Brennan, Jean Byrne, Alan Quinlan, Ella McSweeney and Mike Denver learn how to become horse trainers. On the show, which airs on Wednesdays at 8.30, they will battle it out to win the big final race at Leopardstown. Never done nothing with a horse. From the Daily Grind. We're going to wash these and you can scrape them down. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that for you, little Bobby. I don't think that there's ever any chance of me ever being a jockey. Are you going to win in Limerick? <laughs> Say yes. I'm hoping for a win tomorrow. To a day at the races. And they're, they're off. off. They're off. Now, we're not sure who to put our money on yet. We'll just have to tune in to see. It looks like Dolce and Gabbana's 2011 catwalk trend of star patterns is really catching on with celebrities. Spotted recently sporting a star-splattered guna was a blooming Lily Allen Cooper, happy to show off her bump. Also working the trend is Mildred Pierce star Evan Rachel Wood, while Pixie Galdoff went for a floor-length dress for the Harry Potter premiere in London. Stateside, Rosaria Dawson, who's busy promoting the upcoming film Zookeeper with Kevin James, looked gorgeous out and about in New York. And you know what to look for in the shops this autumn. And finally, proof that everyone wants to be a judge on a reality TV show with the news that the Dalai Lama has taken part in the Australian version of MasterChef. Although, to be fair, he did seem reluctant to embrace the judging part of being a judge, saying, as a Buddhist monk, it is not right to prefer this food or that food. He did praise the chefs by commenting that all the dishes had a special taste and beauty, and apparently they were speechless. Well, that's the latest happenings from the world of entertainment for your daily showbiz fix. Keep clicking here on RT10 and you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.